Hey everyone, okay, so this is Ziki here and I hope you're all doing very well wherever you are. Of course, uh, today in China is a holiday, it's called the Dragon Boat Festival. It's a traditional Chinese holiday. As you know that in China, they value their culture, their traditions, their heritage. So this is one of those holidays which they value very well. I'm going to tell you a short story about this holiday later on. But first of all, let me give you some of the stories that I have for you. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss on this and more. And to my returning subscribers, you are all appreciated. Now, Zodba Wabantu, the South African diva herself, has been banned from entering Malawi. Yes, Zod was supposed to be performing in Malawi on the 11th of June, but the Minister of Tourism in Malawi has told organizers that Zodwa cannot come into Malawi because of how she dances, how she carries herself, and everything else about her. Said she's not a good role model for the you know for the young ladies or the young people in Malawi. Therefore, she cannot come there. Yes. So as you know, that this is not this is not the first time that Zodwa has been stopped from entering some of these neighboring of these southern countries. In 2017, she was also banned from entering Zimbabwe. They told her that she cannot come into Zimbabwe because she's a bad influence. And also when she was told that. If she has to be in Zimbabwe, she has to perform wearing her panties and dress properly. She refused, according to reports, said she cannot perform without a signature of taking off her pants. And in Zambia, the same thing, I think it was in 2018 again, she, also, she too was denied entry into Zambia, again citing that he dances without underwear. Is not good, she's not a good role model, you know, for, for Zambia, and she was banned. Now she has been banned again from entering into Malawi. Okay, so we don't know, you know, she could, you know, some not every society is accepting of her. Okay, uh, some believe that her dances are not very, very good for the society, like in Malawi. The organizers they told them that, uh, no, she when she comes to Malawi, she's going to be performing, you know putting on her underwear, she will not be taking off underwear, everything will be communicated to her, but still, she, they say she cannot go into Malawi. Okay, moving forward, we saw uh, stats, uh, South Africa, uh, you know, uh, South African police service uh, showing the statistics for crime rate in South Africa, and it showed that there has been a sharp increase in murders that happened there, that is about 22.2 percent of murders, and of which 37 point uh, something, I think 34, about 37 percent, okay, being murders involving children. They say some of the causes of these murders include domestic violence, robberies, vigilantism, and um, something to do with the revenge, you know, or retaliation and many others and also we saw the similar thing being aired in Zimbabwe again where again the government say where they, they are worried about the higher high rates of murders that are now happening in Zimbabwe and it's a cause for concern so they're saying we need to engage the stakeholders and see what is really going on along that um, along that area okay still again moving forward there's also a story that is going round where um, a Nigerian woman, you know, young lady, very, very beautiful, died after she tried to enlarge her head behind. Unfortunately, it did not go down well, so she died. And there's been an outcry from members of the public saying that they need the, the doctor to be arrested. But some other people saying, well, the doctor did not do anything wrong. Accidents do happen in the operation room. Also, before people go into these operation rooms, the forms that they sign, which tell them that anything can happen, you know, during the operation, it might die, something might go wrong and everything, and you need to sign. But again, this is another story you know we see young ladies beautiful young ladies losing their lives you know trying to enhance their bodies you know of course people live by their choices people do what they want because it is their bodies and it is also their money so they can do whatever they want but it's rather unfortunate that under circumstances some, some circumstances young people are losing their lives okay now this is the, these are the stories some of the stories that I hear for you but let me get back to the story of the Dragon Boat Festival. You know, there's a legendary story that tied it to this holiday, which says that once upon a time, there was a very, very patriotic um, poet in, uh, in, um, in China. And during the war, something happened, and he ended up, you know, committing suicide after their state was, you know, 
he was being defeated because he was so properly that is the reason why they had been defeated so after he felt so much hate and saying well i'm a very patriotic person why are you guys talking like this to me so he ended up drowning himself in a river so when people heard that the patriot has drowned in the river it is said that they took some rice and drums and things and ran to the river they started to call out his name but he was nowhere to be found okay they started to throw in rice the reason for throwing rice into the river was to make that to make fish and other sea animals to eat the rice so that they will not eat him okay and leave him hoping that one day he was going to suffer so it became a habit they also started to beat drums by the river just to you know to scare away the fish and also to make him to make him hear them so that he might come out knowing that people are really waiting for him out there so this thing happened it is said that it happened during the fifth month you know according to their calendar so this is the reason why it is also being celebrated today this today is the third of june so this holiday, this year, 2022, falls on this day. You know, it's just those legendary stories, you know, but they take the stories very, very seriously, okay? I was taught about this story when I was doing Chinese culture. That is was when I was taught about this story, okay? So I just let me share with you, my friends, so that you know where everything emanates. So when it comes to the dragons, you know how important this animal is to Chinese. For some of us, if I dream of dragons, I just think of demons and evil spirits. But for Chinese, the dragons represent power. There is a symbol is an animal that symbolizes a lot of good things in their culture so they value it a lot so during this holiday people eat rice dumplings you know they make rice dumplings they also in some instances where they really really celebrate it they go to the rivers where people will be having boat you know boat races they're called the dragon boat races the boats will be shaped in dragons you know shapes and they'll be racing and everything so this is how they celebrate in other people also they believe this is a very bad month you know because of someone who committed suicide so they'll be trying to cleanse their homes to you know to put essence and all this kind of stuff so there are so many stories around this issue of uh, of the dragon boat festival but i'm just telling you the one that i came to know about so you guys i'm going to come back again with more stories like i said before if you are new to the channel please subscribe and see so that you don't miss it of course i wanted to bring to you some other questions that i come I, I have so that you guys if there's anyone who can talk more about this please leave a comment and i'm going to contact you okay or you can just write me your email and then i'm going to contact you i have people asking about like i said before the uif okay and unemployment insurance fund and also some people wanting to know who is eligible for a waiver all those things guys if there's anyone who can help me to answer those questions i will really appreciate we can talk in the email and until i come back again please stay safe